Um, this is a video about BidBaller uh, and all the features of this online bidding platform. Uh, there are many different things you can do here. Um, you can be as complicated as you want or, um, or as straightforward and, um, and just go straight to the bidding. Um, so I'm going to go through some of the pre-sale bidding options and then some of the live bidding options. Uh, so there's a lot to, to go through, um, but don't worry. Uh, all you have to do is make a couple of clicks to get bidding, uh, and then eventually you can take uh, advantage of, of a lot of the features. So once you're logged in, you'll see that the sale is open for pre-sale bidding. Uh, we um, then go to the, the sale page. Um, it says register to bid over here at the right. Um, if you are... Um, if you are not an approved bidder, uh, then you will get a notice to fill out a bidder registration form. So here I'm already approved. I go here and we have terms and conditions of sale. Uh, we check the box and then hit continue. Um, this is where your paddle numbers get assigned. So the paddle numbers are generated randomly and you can have as many paddles as you like. Um, you know what? I've decided I only want two. I haven't used that one yet. I'm going to get rid of that paddle. Well, maybe I want another one. Again, the numbers are all generated randomly. Um, if you, uh, but I'll stick with two. So down here is where you would select an avatar. Um, I'll make a separate video about avatars. Um, I haven't picked any in my account yet to be used from. Um, so I just, um, you know, we'll go through that in another video. So now I'm done, I'm happy with my paddle numbers, and I hit submit registration, and I go back to the sale page. Um, I can either view the lots here or go through the table of contents and view them over here. So I'm gonna click on the first section of items, um, and uh, a whole bidding window comes up. So let's go through some of the features of the window here. Um, there is a go to lot feature, so it just takes you to any lot in the sale. Um, up here, is where my paddle numbers are. So I have my two paddles here. If I want to add a third paddle later on, I can go ahead and do that. And then it takes me right back to the sale. Um, and now I have my three paddles to use. Um, so let's bid on the first lot. Um, so here is where my paddles are. Uh, let's use this paddle. Um, estimate is 15 to 20. Um, Scott value is 27,000. So let's put in a $12,000 bid and we'll see what happens. So it shows me, uh, at this point, I'm winning the lot. Um, early on in the bidding, that number doesn't really mean very much because a lot of the action tends to happen closer to the time of the sale. Um, so I can also be notified 10 lots before the lot is sold. If I have um, an email or a text message preference, you can receive a message 10 lots before it's sold so you can follow along uh, or bid live at the time. So let's say, you know what, let's raise that to 14,000. So I'm gonna do that and raise the bid here to 14,000. Uh, great, I'm all set. Um, if I wanna be on the phone for this lot, I click on this and subject to approval from Siegel, uh, we can give you a call uh, for the lot. Um, and then on lot two, let's say I wanna do an or bid on this. So I want either lot two or lot three. So Scott value 8,000, let's bid 5,000 on this one. And whoop, let's see. Um, so I'm gonna go over here and make it an or bid now. Um, and let's call it proofs. And let's add it to the or bid group. Um, so I'm gonna add it to my first or bid group um, at my $5,000 bid. So I could have either entered the bid in and done that first or I can add it to the or group later like I just did. Um, then the second lot, Let's add it to the same orbit group. So um, Scott value is sixty thousand. Let's put in a thirty-five thousand dollar bid. Let's make it an orbit, and I'm going to select my proof as my orbit lot there. So I'm going to put in the orbit there, and you can see the orbit is the group for proofs. If I want to take it out of orbits, not make it part of orbits anymore, I can just click on that, and then it becomes a standalone bid. Um, if I decide I wanted to have two orbids under two different paddle numbers, I can do that too. So I'm all set now. Um, so, you know, I can keep placing my pre-sale bids like this, um, or, um, you know, uh, just wait and see what happens when the, live, when the live bidding starts. So the live bidding, 
you'll be able to see a notification up here when the live bidding starts. Uh, so here, join the live auction. So the auctioneer is open up the floor. It's ready for live bidding. And I go over here, and uh, this is the live bidding page. So there's a fair amount to go through here. Um, let's see uh, if I can do this efficiently. On the left-hand side, you'll see all the lots in the sale. You can see the bids that I placed over here. Um, you have a short description here uh, with the items. You can see already what my first lot bid is and all the other relevant information. Um, on the right-hand side, and again up here, you have your, your paddle. So you, in the middle of the auction, if you decide you wanted to start using a different paddle, um, you can switch and start using a different paddle. I haven't used this one yet. I'll pick that paddle. So then uh, the top option over here is how am I doing? Um, you can see um, what the results are and how much you spent. Um, you can also set a budget uh, right here. So if you want to set a budget for the sale and you're participating in live bidding, then, um, then you would just uh, set a budget here, uh, fill in the number, hit the X. It's not going to stop you from, from bidding above that number, but what it will do is it will tell you when you've reached that number. So this is live bidding. You have the decision while you're bidding live um, whether or not to go over the budget that you set for yourself. Um, there's no restriction on the bidding, but it will warn you when you, when you hit your budget. Uh, and then you can decide what to do from there. Um, the logs uh, are blank right now because the auction hasn't started. And so, um, and so basically, um, uh, now you can see the log, the first lot is opened and you can see where it is. Um, and I have the bid right now. Um, so that's the logs. Uh, my bids, you can see uh, the bids that you placed in advance. Uh, you can expand them and see more information about them along with the full description if you need to. Um, the status here will change from current and upcoming to won or lost uh, as you go through the bidding. Um, so again, that's a way to just keep track of everything that you've done. Uh, there's a chat feature here. And so this is a chat where you would send a message directly to the auctioneer and the clerk. Um, nobody else would see it and they can answer directly to you or they can also broadcast messages like we're taking a break and things like that. Um, but you can do one-on-one -on -one chat with the auctioneer. Um, please keep in mind that the auctioneer and the clerk are busy during the auction. They may not get back to you right away, but the messages do come through to them and they do get notified. Um, the last option here is settings. Um, so right now I'm looking at it in US dollars. If I want to see it in pounds as well, um, I, can, um, I can do that. And you can either show all the currencies this way or you can just pick whatever currency you want and you can see the equivalents uh, on the bidding buttons. Uh, go back to US dollars and then back to normal. Um, okay, so those are the features. The bidding is now at 8,000, um, which is the opening bid. Um, so let's see what happens. So now there's some additional bids. I still have my max bid of 14,000. Uh, it's now at 10,5. And now my bidding has been exceeded. So now I'm losing the lot. And you can see clearly I'm losing the lot. So I can bid here if I want any one of these increments. Um, so that's good. And then um, I'm outbid against. Uh, if I want to enter in another amount, a higher amount, I can do that. Uh, so let's say I want to bid 20000 off the bat. I can do that. And do you want to submit the bid? Yes. And here I am. So now you can see my max bid here is 20. I'm getting it right now at 17. Uh, it's gone up to 20000 It's up to 21. I'm losing. Okay, you know what? I'm out. So I've decided to say I'm out, but you know what? Uh, second chance, I want to get back in. So I'm out, tells the auctioneer you're out, but it's not a limitation on, on whether or not you can get back in or not. So again, um, you know, let's bid it. And now it's going to close and I'm going to be the winner. So great, congratulations, I won the lot. I won lot one for 25,000 hammer. It brings up the how am I doing? You can see the 25,000 price. Um, this sale is marked with a 15% bars premium, uh, and, uh, and so it shows the total there, and there are additional statistics that pop up. So, lot two, um, 
I have an orbit on, so let's see what happens here. Um, let's open up lot two, and you can see right here that my orbit is there, and my maximum bit is 5,000. It's now at 1,100, uh, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, it's mine at 1,600 right now, and let's close that out, and so now I've won that one at 1,600. Now, the third lot, I have an ore bid. It's shown that my maximum bid was 35,000. Um, let's open it up here, and, um, and it does not execute my bid because here you can see my ore bid was canceled. If you want to keep bidding live, you can. Uh, if you decide that, you know what, I got the first one for such a bargain that I want to bid on the second one or I really want it, um, there's no limitation on you bidding during the live auction, even if you set an ore bid on it before. So, um, so those are your different options for bidding, um, and that's how it works. So, in this one here, let's sell it. Um, let's sell it to somebody else on the floor, and and on it goes. So that's basically the online bidding uh, portion and all the different options of what you can do. Um, I hope you find this video informative and. Uh, and again, even on the left-hand side, it tells you what happens here and, um, and all the rest of it. So, um, so if there are any questions, just contact us, but hopefully this will answer most of them. Thank you.